Hi guys, so we know that this week is Halloween and um, I know I'm looking crazy. Um, I'm trying to put a look together for you guys, another one. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of like going crazy, um, just getting inspired uh, either by things that I'm watching or, you know, just coming up with ideas on my own. Um, yeah, so these lenses that I'm wearing are actually, um, I ordered them from, I think they're from Hong Kong, yeah, the company is called, or the website is called Eye Candy, and it's Magic Color Crazy Lens, and the box that it came in looks like that. Um, it says it's made in Korea, and the diameter is actually 14.2, and this is my very first time putting on contacts, let me tell you guys, whoo! Wow, you need patience for these suckers. So kudos to you guys that wear this on a regular basis. Um, I will stick with glasses <laughs> when time comes for me to start wearing glasses. Uh, yeah, this took dedication. I was swearing up a storm in the bathroom um, trying to get these in. I'm like, I don't understand how people get this in. Anyway, let me get into it because I'm rambling. Uh, I went ahead, because I don't want this to be, like, super, super long, so I went ahead and did my primer already, and it's the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. Um, it looks like that. I hope you guys can see it. Um, and then I used a Magic, uh, sorry, L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder Bare Skin Perfecting Makeup, and this is amazing. This is one of my favorite products of this year. Um, I know I've been winning, like, lots and lots of awards, but anyway, um, it goes from liquid to powder. Um, you don't even need to set your face with powder, so hence I use the product. And it looks like this, and my number is 324, and it's Buff Beige. So I did that with my stippling brush, and the one that I'm using currently is actually my e.l.f. stippling brush, and it looks like that. So. To do the entire eyelid with it. So, when I'm looking away, guys, um, just know that I'm looking in the mirror. Oh, and also, I heard, um, an advice online when I was researching the look. Whenever you want to put contacts on, uh, make sure you put them in first before you do any makeup. Because if the makeup gets into the contact lens, uh, yeah, you're screwed. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go back into booty call and sorry guys booty call is actually from my urban decay palette uh, and it's the second one so I'm doing the entire lid I'm trying to go as fast as I can with this so there you go that's that is a half baked on the inner parts of my eye so in the inner corners So, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, um, I probably skipped it knowing me the way I think. Um, the look that I'm going for, or, yeah, what I'm trying to accomplish is actually a baby doll look. So, excuse the crazy hair, <laughs> because, um, and you'll see in the end, like, what it's gonna, why the hair doesn't even matter that it looks crazy. Everything about me looks crazy today. The hair, the eyes. Hey guys, by the way, if it's your first time putting on contacts, holy smokes, get ready to cry. These suckers were crazy. I'm still getting used to them. I don't know if you guys can notice, like my eyes are still red from it. Snake bite. And snake bite and... Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys. So the first color that I used, booty call, is this one. And then the second color that I used was uh, Half Baked, and it's that one. There you go. So, let's see. Let's try this again. Booty Call, Half Baked, and then Snake Bite. There we go. And the Snake Bite, of course, I'm going to be doing on the outer corners of my eye. <clears throat> I hope it comes out as I imagine it because you know it's one thing to imagine a look and it's another when it comes out you know as the finished product and hopefully just exactly what I was thinking 
comes out. Anyway, um, and don't forget to blend. So I'm going to use the brush that comes in with the, uh, the palette, the Urban Decay palette. And just blend rather quickly. See this, if I recall correctly, yep, this is Deep Black by Sephora and it's Flashy Liner. And as you guys can see, I love this <laughs> so much <laughs> that it's like super, super short. Anyway, so I am going to go in now and use this in the crease. And I'm going to buff it out with my brush. So now using my Japanese angled brush, I am just going to go in and using the angled tip, I'm going to go in, I love this brush for that, and buff it out. So that's the look guys right now. I'm going to be using my... Lancome, no sorry, Estee Lauder, um, and it's Soft Smudge Black, and it's 01, also my favorite, hence it's like super super short, and I'm going to be doing the bottom outer lid, so I'm going to do it halfway, just to open my eyes up, and I'm going to buff it out. Now using my small eye shader uh, from Ulta, I am going to, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's super super tiny, aha, I'm going to now go ahead and buff this out. So next I am going to be using my soft cold pencil from Rimmel London, and it looks like this, looks like it glides rather softly. Anyway, now I am going to be doing the inner, my waterline, sorry. And careful because. Now, after that, um, we're going to be adding our mascara. And what I'm using is the Maybelline. The Rocket Volume Express Waterproof, right there. And I am just going to go bananas, because I want my eyes to look super, super cute. So just keep applying coats until you get the consistency, you reach the consistency that you um, want. I went ahead and did my lashes, and and my lashes today are, let's see here, it's by Wet n Wild, and it's called Fantasy Makers. Um, this one I actually purchased at Kmart, and I just like the feathery look, so I just went for them. I know, this looks getting crazier and crazier by the minute. I'm going to line my bo bottom lid again. There we go. And then I'll smudge it out again. There we go. And since I'm doing a baby doll look, what I'm going to do now is actually add some bottom lashes. Hopefully this works out because I have never put bottom lashes on before. Let's see here. Bottom lashes are courtesy of uh, Ardell Invisiband. Yeah, Invisiband. And there are Luckies and there are Black. 
as you can see, there's only one left in the package, um, and that's because I cut one in half to do both eyes. Okay, so now that I have that, I am going to go ahead now and just give it even more so of a fuller look. I'm going to use my Urban Decay, let's see here, Perversion Liquid Liner. I'm going to go ahead and just put some lashes, you know, just draw them in. And just to kind of have like a blended look, I am going to go back using my Essay Lauder, um, let's see, I can never remember this pencil, uh, Soft Smudge Black, and just kind of like go in there and just blend these harsh lines. With my Kabuki brush, I am going to be using just a touch of Pinch O Peach by MAC um, and it looks like that to achieve that little baby doll cheek so I'm just pressing it as you can see on my cheek Um, for my lip glaze, I am going to be using Stella by, uh, sorry, Stella, but <laughs> the color is Candy Apple. And I know I have big lips anyway, so. So I don't want to be over, overwhelming with the lip, so I'm going to do that Hello guys, and leave it at that. This is what it looks like so far with my little synthetic wig that I purchased from Five Below. As you can see, it actually isn't making me look like a baby doll. I wish I had like, you know, like a headband of sort, you know, with like a little bow, like especially like the Hello Kitty ones that they have out this year, but I have something even better. So on top of my Five Below um, synthetic wig, I am now going to put ten ten and then. <laughs> so there it is, guys. There's the finished look. I know it looks, you know. I guess kind of some sort of unfinished, but just use your imagination and come up with ways, you know, that you can actually recreate this look. So there it is. This is what I'm trying to do, and this is exactly how I'm going to go out on um, Halloween. So happy Halloween, guys. I hope you guys get all the candy that you've ever dreamt of. Anyway, it's been fun doing this. I don't know why I went crazy. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is my third look. Yeah, it is. Because I did Sexy, I did um, Sugar Skull, and now I'm doing this. So, yeah, I was inspired, and I hope you are as well. So, anyway, please rate, comment down below, and subscribe. And I love you guys for watching. Thank you so much.